Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I was in search of a little bit of inspiration. So, I decided to create this beautiful little AI fairy on Playground.com and make her my muse. I'll have her sitting on this mushroom and make her appear to be popping out of my monitor. Let me show you how I did it in the film. As I mentioned, I created this fairy on Playground.com. It's free and easy to create just about anything with just a few prompts. I'm going to start by isolating my new little muse here by clicking on the Selection Brush tool and painting over her body and wings. While I speed through this part, here's a general tip. If you need to make your brush head bigger or smaller, just click on the right or left square bracket keys on your keyboard. It works for all kinds of brushes. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll just click on the Refine tool and set the preview to white to see if I've missed anything and then select the output to a new layer, then click Apply to remove the fairy from her background. I now have two background layers. I'll move the one that's on upper layer by dragging and dropping it above the layer that's turned off. I want to remove the black from the background as much as possible. To do this, I'm going to select the background layer and then go to Layer in the menu, selecting New Live Mask Layer and then clicking on Luminosity Range. Make sure the Luminosity Range Mask is on the background layer itself. And then, grab the node at the left side of the line and pull it down near the bottom. This will remove the dark tones from the picture while keeping the light ones. Alright, that looks great. Now, I'll export this file as a PNG. That will preserve the transparent background for when I need to bring her back out later. Just go to File then Export. Select the file type as PNG. Give your file a name and destination folder and click Export. Alright, now for the mushroom she's going to sit on. I already have this image I got from pixabay.com opened in another tab. I'll just copy it by going to Edit Copy in the menu. Then, I'll pass it into this blank canvas I already set up. The canvas is set up with about the same dimensions as my second monitor screen. I'll go to the menu and select Edit Paste to paste the mushroom onto my blank canvas. Next, I'm going to draw a rectangle across my entire screen. I'll then drag and drop it below the mushroom. Then, I'll drag the top left node down and to the right while holding my shift key. This will make the rectangle proportional to my monitor screen as well. Okay, let's fit the mushroom background into the rectangle. I'll just grab the little corner nodes to make it bigger. Once I have it where I want it, I'll go to the Document tab in the menu and select Transparent Background to make the rest of the canvas see-through. Then, I'll go to File, Place and open up the Fairy Muse I worked on earlier. I'll drag her into place and sit her on top of the mushroom so she looks nice and comfortable. I'm going to make sure that her wings extend past the background as this will be the part that will be outside of the monitor screen later. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm going to click on the Erase tool from the left-hand toolbar and erase away some of the edges of the fairy layer that extend past the background layer. Just a little on the side and top here. That looks great. Okay. Now, I want to paint in a little bit more fairy dust. So, I'll select my paintbrush tool. I'll change my brush type by going to the brushes panel and clicking on this ink splatter brush in the sprays and spatters category. Then, I'm going to make some changes to the brush by clicking on the more button on the top toolbar. I already set this up a bit. 
I just played with the sliders until I got a nice dispersed pattern with a lot of hue jitter for multiple colors. Next, I'll select the Add Pixel Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. This will give me a fresh layer to paint on. OK, now I'll just paint away until I like what I see. Notice that my brush is set to green, but I'm getting all kinds of colors in the pattern. That's because I raised the hue jitter up so high. I love this feature. I made my spray go past the mushroom background on purpose. You'll see why in just a few moments. But first, I'll save this image and export it as a PNG file for use later. Okay, last step. I want to add my little fairy muse to my monitor so she can inspire me as I make more YouTube content. I'll get her out of storage by clicking File then Place, selecting the file, and then dragging her out so that the visible part of the image is about the same size as the monitor screen. Notice that there's a difference in perspective between the image and the monitor. To get the image to fit right, I'll click on the Perspective tool at the bottom of the left-hand toolbar. I'll just grab the nodes and manipulate them until the corners of the mushroom background fit into the corners of the monitor. This is a bit tricky as some of the image is invisible, but just pay attention and you can fit them in there nicely. OK, that looks good. I'm not sure how well this Muse thing is going to work. So, if there's anything you would like to see me do, please leave a comment below. While you are at it, click those like and subscribe buttons too. Oh, and if you like the content that you see and want to buy me a little cup of coffee to keep me up and working, there's a link in the description below. None of these things are necessary, but they're all very much appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.